Hi guys, so in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about our character and how we can render it and use it with other objects. To do this, I have opened in here the project file that we were working in before of the character that we have created ourselves and animated. Let's jump inside the composition where we have the character set up in here. So we're not in the character studio, but we are in the composition that we have created earlier. So refer to the earlier videos if you would like to see how we, we did this. And in here, we have all the animations set up and we're basically re ready to go to, to render. One thing that you might want to do is add different characters together. Now, you can import a character inside this toolkit. So you can go to, from here, you can select a character and import a new character from here. Simply drag this and drop it in here and create that new character, then give it its own animations and combine it in this composition. But we really don't recommend this since the project is quite demanding as it is. And of course, adding more characters in the same project would slow it down considerably. So we recommend to actually render this out first and then combine them and combine the exported video inside a different project. So we're going to do that, just that. We're going to export this and then show you how we can play with it afterwards. So make sure that you have all your animations set up and then from here we can export. So we're going to go to composition. First of all, select your work area. So select the area that you would like to render. I want to render until here. And then we're going to go to composition and add to render queue. We always suggest to add to render queue and not to add to Adobe Media Encoder queue when working with characters, since the project is quite loaded with scripts and expressions, and this would take a long time to open up in Media Encoder. So I'm going to add to render queue. And from here, we're going to go for the output module. We're going to set the format to QuickTime. And I'm going to set the channels to RGB plus alpha so that we will retain the transparency. We don't have any audio, so we're, I'm setting that to off. And for format options, I usually select animation from here. Click OK. For you to use the QuickTime presets, you might need to have the QuickTime player installed on your system. And then simply give it an output, an output module. So type in your name and click Save. Then simply hit render. So this is basically it for exporting. We'll see you in the next video where we will combine this character with other things and play a little bit with it in there.